And from here, you have a couple choices. With the Rocky character, I did what's called a layer effect. But with my emoji, I just did a stroke across the top to show kind of an eyeliner. So I'll show both of those things, starting with the stroke. If you want to do something like that, you'll go ahead and add a new layer and grab your regular brush tool. And if you have a tablet, you can use the brush that looks like this. That just means it's going to start small and get big and get small again, which works pretty well for eyeliner. If you don't have a pen tablet, it won't matter what you choose. So this is the same brush using the regular mouse. So you'll just have to control that with the size of your brush and kind of go over it several times. So first I'll show with the graphic tablet. You can have kind of a larger brush and you just kind of have to go across it. The harder you push with your pen, the more that it covers. I undo right away if I get something that I don't like. Sometimes I get lucky and I don't have to redo it. I just get it in one stroke and sometimes I have to go over it again. And if you do something that you don't like but you don't want to redo the whole thing, you can grab the eraser tool and just erase a little bit off the bottom or the top depending on where you need to be erasing. And I'm going to add a little bit more across the top. Okay, that's pretty good. I will clean up the edges a little bit. It is helpful to zoom in to do that. This is a pretty small canvas, so when I zoom in, you can see all of the pixels. And zooming out to see, and that's what we've got. If the eyeliner look is what you want, then you can go with that. And just to show the same process with the regular mouse, you would just have the size of brush that you think you're going to want for your eyeliner and go across it the best you can. And then I would just take your eraser tool and come back in. I find this to be a little bit more tricky, but if you don't have a tablet or you don't like to use it, this can work for you too. Switching back to my brush tool to add a little bit more across the top and back to the eraser tool. And I'm gonna taper across the back side here. And that is what you've got. The other technique is to not even add a new layer, but to use this layer and to add what's called a layer effect. So if you double click here, there are a lot of options for this layer. The two that I'm gonna talk about are the drop shadow and the stroke. I don't particularly like the stroke, I just don't like the way that it looks on my emoji. So I'm not going to use it. But if it works well for what you're trying to create, you can certainly use it. The drop shadow looks a little strange. But what you want to do is click on the style here. Both check it and click on it. And then come over here and mess with these. I want the angle to be above because your brow goes above your eye. And I'm going to mess with the size a little bit and the spread and the distance. The distance is what's really going to make your eye look right. Now that's really dark, almost like he has a black eye. So we'll pull the opacity down and I'm going to move that angle to be a little bit more central. There we go. Each eye is going to be specific to the emoji you're trying to create. And you can always come back and change this right here. You just double click again, and then you can come back in and mess with those settings if you feel like later it doesn't look right. Okay, I think that covers the whites of the eyes for this one. To get another eyeball, you can press Command J to copy that, and then Transform Command T, and if you right click on that eye, you can flip it and then you can drag it across so that you have two eyes and just kind of move it until it's right. You can hold down shift as you move so that it doesn't go up and down on you. It'll stay on the same plane. Press enter and you have two eyes.